study is something um, or an approach to something, in our case, an approach, approach to problems, that I would like to distinguish between study and having an interest. Because, look, when I approach a problem and I want to strong frame the problem and really get a grasp of it, then what I need, what I choose to do is to actually study so that I can increase my understanding and then I've got a much better chance of breaking the problem down using the, the, the enzyme. So it's kind of like, um, it's a it's a tool and an enhancement um, in my in my armory, so to speak, in order for me to tackle problems. And look, study structured, okay. And I want to distinguish between, let's say, having an interest um, in 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 a subject that occasionally we read something about. Yeah, I'm interested in Tudor history from. Um, Henry VIII uh, to Queen Elizabeth and you know I, I watch a program on the telly about it um, and I might you know might even read a book about the subject but certainly go into Wikipedia occasionally and pick up stuff on the internet. Um, in other words what I do is I'm interested and I get some information uh, depending on how interested I, I, I am interested in it at the time. Okay, now that is what most people think they can get away with by saying that they, they study a subject. Because if that's what you do, if you, I don't know, have a look at it every now and then because you're vaguely interested in it, okay? If that's what you do, that isn't the study that I'm talking about. I want to be really clear because you've got um, a very different process when you're studying. And studying is actually a commitment, it's almost a pledge to increase your understanding and you increase it with a purpose. Not simply to gain more information, um, but to increase understanding. And the, 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 the two are very different, although in order to understand something, I do need at least some information. So the structured aspect of obtaining information, but then kind of curating it um, and organizing it and making attempts to understand it by increasing and reading around the subject, but also writing about the subject and discussing the subject. These are studies. Study is structured and it has purpose and it has depth. And I would apply again the QQDID aspect to studying. And as we've done that with attention and we've done it with um, or we've done it with energy as well. I would do it with, with study because we want a, a, a quality study program. Um, we want to do quite a lot, lot of study over a period of time, so duration. It needs to be of a certain intensity. And yeah, we need to have a certain flexibility to read around the subject and look at different ideas. So study in itself, and for our purposes, needs to be distinguished between um, this kind of activity, this in-depth activity, and simply being interested in something occasionally. Um, if we get that distinction clear, then we can approach studying in a, in a different way, but also we can strong frame it and relate it to um, our time and our attention.